where they see that there's going to be some offense, there's going to be some, you know, some loss, they're still willing to bring forth what the Lord's done for us and give you know, a true. And to me, I guess that's what stands out this past year. I guess um, there was a scripture where Jesus said, um, search the scriptures for, for where you think you have eternal life. The scribes and Pharisees searched the scriptures so much, but yet they couldn't see their testimony of Jesus. You know, and many of us have read the scriptures so many years, but we miss so many wonderful things that the Lord has done for us. Yep. You know, we miss them just like they did. You know, and I'm so thankful that, you know, what the Lord's going to do, of course, because, um, you know, he's, he's teaching us truth. You know, I, I appreciate that. And I appreciate pastors willing to stand for truth. Not what people have taught as truth, but truth. And, you know, which is Jesus. Amen. And, uh, and if someone else here wants to um, say something about, you know, what you appreciate about our pastors, you're, the floor is open to whoever wants to go next. I'm going to get teary on it. I was talking about a little bit this morning about how about six, seven years ago, I was completely, completely done with church, really. Uh, I guess I'd say too much. I'd say too much. Everything you possibly think of, what you hear nowadays about people, I don't go to church anymore because they're so hateful, and I don't go to church anymore because all they're about is money, and all these things that these people say about church. But I learned that it wasn't about that with this these pastors and I learned about how they really just loved and cared about the people. And to me that that drew me in. I remember coming into church. God knows what I did the night before, but I'd come into church and feel so down and so not oh not because of them, just because of my condemnation of how I seen myself unworthy. Every time they would come with me, they would shake my hand. Sit to that. And when I, oh. miss a whole month, when I miss a two, three months, come on feet. The next time I was in church, man, we really missed you. It's good to have you back. And to me, they never judged my sin. They never said anything. I mean, God shows people things, but they never said anything about what they knew I was doing or really asked me any questions on why I wasn't there or anything like that. They were just good to have you. You know, it's like, when I, when I think of my pastors, I think of that scripture. Go back to that. Oh, the scripture right here is I was reading one night. This one here stuck out to me when I think about my pastors. And I will give you pastors according to my heart, my, my heart. The Lord shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. We have pastors from God's own heart. That's no doubt in my mind and in my heart that they're from God's heart. And that they love each and every one of us so much that they sacrifice their lives to make sure that we're happy, to make sure that we're free, and to make sure that we know God loves us even through our addictions, even through our problems, even through our frustrations. And that, to me, means the world. That I can mess up, that I can have a hard time, that I can, can have a bad day and know that God still loves me. I used to not know that. But because of pastors that told me the truth, I now know that. And I know that it's okay to make mistakes. I know that it's okay to be myself. And not be a phony because for so many fucking years I was a fake person. I tried to be this man that I wasn't even close to being. I, I tried to be at home. I was a completely different person. And I'd come to church and I was just, oh, how are you guys doing? Everything's so perfect in my life. Uh, God's so good. And just all these things. And it was so, such a show. And I learned that it's okay to show a little bit of anger, a little bit of frustration. It's okay not to be perfect in front of people. And to realize that God still loves me and He loves you. And if you see me fail, it's okay. He still loves me. And if, if you fail, it's okay. He still loves you. And I didn't know any of that until I met my pastors. And I thank God that they have told us the truth like they almost said me. Because this is one thing that was sticking in my heart is... No matter the consequence of how many people leave, they're not going to stop bringing the truth. It doesn't matter your religion, your doctrine, or whatever you believe, they're not going to stop bringing the 
the truth because it needs to be profitable. And Jesus, so many left him, 70 walked away, and he said, Will you also leave? And they were like, Well, this is there to go to. You have the, the, the keys to eternal life, or the gift of eternal life, or the words of eternal life. I can't think of the whole scripture, but that being said, <coughs> You know, we, we've seen people come in and out. We've seen people leave. But we've also gained some really awesome people. And they maybe had been a long time. And maybe was hurt by their church. And I thank God for where our church is going. I thank God for the growth I see. I thank God when you come in the doors, you feel love and you feel love. And you don't feel rejected. You don't feel like you're being judged for what you got on. You know? It ain't about that. It's about encouraging one another. Lifting one another up. And I would have never known these things if I had a pastor who me to study. And oh my gosh, I'm so glad. It's touchable. And I thank God for our pastor. I mean, it's... Anybody else want to say something? Can you hold that one? Can I, can I say something? You're a person. You're a person. Just hold it on. I'm going to say hello. Oh. You hold it. I'm gonna go up there and say something to the pastor. The line, not last, but Amy, that's good. So there's something Be a little 